right. Juliana Bentonton, Judy Faulkner, Rosalia Mera, J.K. Rowling, and Sarah Blakely. What do all these women have in common? They're all female self-made billionaires. My name is Stephanie Burns, and I am the founder and CEO of Chic CEO. And all of those women started out just like this, with an idea and some guts. Chic CEO is an online platform for female entrepreneurs, and I came up with the idea while I was in grad school. I was working full time, I was training for a triathlon, and I was going to school at night to get my MBA. And I was exhausted. And I was sitting in class one night thinking, where is this information on how to start a business, and why isn't it free, and why can't I just go to sleep right now? And at the same time, because this is around 2008, all of my girlfriends were getting laid off from their jobs just like everybody else was. So they all were coming to me saying, how do I start a business? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Well, you're in business school. Yeah, but I'm learning these high-level concepts like strategic marketing and global management and finance and econ. I don't know how to tell you to start a business. So this, this question kept coming up over and over and over again. Finally, I thought, well, I'm just going to go out and, and find the resource for them, something that tells them the, the simple and ground-level information that they need to start their business. So I started looking around. I couldn't find anything that I liked for them. So I finally just asked them all to come over to my living room, gave them all wine, sat them down, and started asking them a ton of questions. How are you saving for your taxes? Uh, what kind of legal entity did you choose? Um, you know, did you get a business bank account? And they all just kind of stared at me. So what came out of that meeting was, A, there's a hundred holes that these women are facing, and B, they're asking their dad for, for information. So I, I kind of took this idea, I took it back to grad school, and I made my business plan for Chic CEO. I presented it to the dean and the board to graduate, like all of my other classmates did, and afterwards, the dean told me that mine was the only one he'd consider investing in. So I took it home, put it on the shelf, and went back to work. In 2009, I got laid off just like everybody else did. So I went home, took it off the shelf, and started working on it immediately. In the middle of that, my uh, little brother and I got cast to be contestants on the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> when he yelled out Dalmatian puppies, we won $12,000, and I immediately had a little bit of capital to start my website. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. Thank you. So. Three years ago today, I launched Chic CEO. It went, it went live. And by February of 2011, I asked my business partner, Jody Coughlin, to join me. And by June of 2011, we were named one of the top 10 entrepreneurial websites for women by Forbes. So who are we? What do we do? Chic CEO, we're an online platform for female entrepreneurs. We give how-to information, tools, and community for women starting businesses. We do this in a bunch of different ways, typically through content information. Things like how to start a business plan, how to find your break-even analysis, even how to prepare for your exit. So we've decided to focus on women for a few key reasons. One, women are starting businesses two to one over men right now. We estimate the market size to be about $8.3 billion. Women want tr trusted resources, and when they find them, they frequent them again and again. And we have bootstrapped our way from zero to 50,000 female entrepreneurs in our network in under three years with zero paid marketing. We have two customers. First, the female entrepreneur that uses the content and uses our tools. Second, the advertisers that want to get in front of them. Again, we've grown from approximately zero to 50,000 female entrepreneurs. At this time last year, we had 10,000 entrepreneurs. We've grown 400% in a year of subscribers, again, all organically. We have three main revenue streams. First, we sell advertising on our website and our twice-weekly email newsletter. Second, we have our Chic CEO Mastermind. This is for women that need a little bit more than just the free content. So for a monthly revenue, uh, it's a monthly revenue model. They pay a, a fee every month. And they get access to pitch reviews, intros to investors, our software product, and a private way to engage with each other. And we have events. So we have monthly networking mixers that we throw in San Diego, Orange County, and Portland. And we also have our annual Solve Conference for Women. And this year, we're really excited to announce that we will be partnering with the Kauffman Foundation on this event. So it's very, very important for us to grow our subscriber network, our free subscribers. This is our number one goal always for two reasons. First, we can convert our freemium to premium 
our free subscribers to our premium model, which is our Chic CEO Mastermind. And second, we can command more advertising dollars. It costs us about $3.80 to acquire one new user, and each user is approximately $230 to us. Chic CEO bridges the gap between trusted business com information and female-focused or female media companies. Female media companies are really, really big business. Some of the other companies that have had successful exits in the space, Daily Candy, who sold to Comcast for $125 million. Ideal Byte, who sold to Disney for $25 million. LearnVest was just valued at $100 million. Daily Worth valued at $10 million. So some of the traction that we've had so far, again, we have 50,000 female entrepreneurs in our network that we've grown organically. We've been top 10 entrepreneur websites for women by Forbes and every year since, and recently we were just named in the one, top 100 websites for entrepreneurs, both men and women in Forbes. We've grown through press and notable partnerships. So some of the places that we've been featured, Fast Company, Wall Street Journal, Amex Open, et cetera, and we're really excited to announce some of the partnerships that we have um, utilized to grow our network and that champion the female entrepreneur, people like Inc., Lean In, Nabo, Kaufman, Forbes, Dress for Success. Between my partner and I, we have 25 years of branding and marketing experience, working with companies like Adidas, Diageo, CMT. Uh, Jody and I are extremely scrappy. We negotiate everything. We don't spend a dime unless we need to. And before we spend a dime, we get really creative. We have some really amazing advisors on our board that we're really excited about. Fran Meyer, who co-founded Match.com. She's the chairman of Trustee. Dr. Jim Hammerly, an MIT alum, his first uh, tech startup was bought by AOL and Veronica Belmont, who's up here in the Bay Area, and she is very influential in the gaming space and a champion for female entrepreneurs. So some of our traction here, 50,000 subscribers, 400% uh, increase in revenue last year. Um, and again, we've bootstrapped this from, from day one. So we're currently looking to raise $500,000 to accelerate the growth of our subscribers, to redo our website so that we can have more community engagement, and also to staff up for the expected growth that we're going to have in 2014. If we can grow by 400% just this year on pennies, imagine what we could do with a little bit of capital. Thank you so much. I look forward to your questions. Hi. Um, do you have any way to measure your success rate? I mean, how does your company... Uh, help women? What success rate do you have for a company that comes up to you or a project that comes up to you? Well, because we're a media company, it's hard to say how how somebody does from A to B because we're really a resource for them. We don't work on them with them one-on-one, -on -one, but we do have a lot of women that reach out and tell us about how you know they got their business started. And a good example of that is a woman who just started a company where um, if you're watching a reality show or a TV show, you can snap a picture of somebody's shirt and it'll pull up the item and you can buy it right through there with her app. She used Chic CEO to get her business started. So the reason Chic CEO exists is so that women like her can actually focus on their core competency and what they do right and not work on the, the small minutia of actually getting their business questions answered. So it's hard to say exactly A to B, but. Sorry. Okay. Yes, what is your uh, conversion uh, rate from your freemium model to your subscription model? Tip right now it's 1%, so which is typical. Yeah, mm -hmm. and oh, so what is your target? Uh, do you think because you're bringing on people uh, you know, rapidly, do you have a target be beyond the 1% for subscription because... Yeah, I would love to hit, I would love to hit 1.5 or 2% for sure. And I would definitely like to get our, um, our rate down in acquiring. So I'd, if we bring on capital and I can actually put marketing dollars to work, I'm hoping to get that $3.80 down as well for acquiring a new user. So to follow up with her question, so you say you have 50,000 subs. So there's, are those non-paying or just people who have? Those are non-paying. Okay, so you converted 1% um, of those. Right. Okay. And it's, but we still, you know, they're still worth something to us because we command advertising dollars for those eyes. Okay, thank you. Follow-up was just going to be about the about the impact, and that do you have plans to actually track some of these women, or or also the second question would be uh, making connections with the women and, and funders. Do you ever do that other than via the online? 
So our Chic CEO Mastermind is a really robust program that women can come into, and these women have to have their businesses started with uh, ways to bring in revenue already to be a part of the mastermind. This part has just started. We just closed out a different membership model, um, which that's really exciting for us because we have a lot of connections with uh, investors that ask us for deal flow. So this is a way for us to vet them and then push them through. So it's a benefit of the mastermind program. So we get them ready for that. Definitely nothing like springboard, but we can help them get ready for that and then introduce them to the investors that we know. Um, of the $500,000 uh, you're looking to raise, the money that will go towards marketing, how do you intend to um, market for new users? I'm going to ask an unrelated question, too. Of the advertising that you're selling, are you selling it directly or are you working through networks? Right now we're selling it directly. Um, I'll, I'll answer your first question. For the, the marketing, uh, we need to get a, a PR person in place. We do our, our own PR right now, which is, is, has worked, and we, we write for Forbes, so that helps, too. Um, so that's probably where we would focus most of the money is on PR and then acquisition. So having a, a specialist come in and really drive that number down. Um, and then the second question, remind me, I started answering it. The advertising dollars, yes, those come in uh, directly. So we have salespeople on staff that do that. Uh, Amanda Steinberg, who owns, owns Daily Worth. She and I had dinner a couple of months ago. She's actually turned away $1 million in ad revenue last year because she didn't have the inventory. So she's going to bring Chic CEO on and a couple other uh, networks that have the same kind of demographic and pass through that, that ad inventory. So next year, that ad inventory is going to be taken care of by her team, which is exciting for us. Yeah. Great. Great. Thank, Thank you. you Stephanie.